12 Seed Game Stash here. So before you guys enjoy this retro um, expo experience, the so-called retro expo experience, I just want to thank all my subscribers, all my fans that came down to the SoCal Expo and hanged out with me, took pictures, had some crazy interviews. Uh, it was outstanding, had a blast with you guys. You know, I can't thank you guys enough. Um, you know, and especially the vendors. Vendor-wise, I was shocked how many people knew my, my channel. Um, you know, gave me some outstanding deals. We even haggled. <laughs> they let me haggle with them. And, you know, they, they, they got to experience my haggling skills. Uh, but over overall, we got a great deal with um, CDX, uh, which had an amazing boxed um, Mega Man's and all this crazy stuff. Uh, we got Chubby Cheddar from him. I got my Bucky O'Hare. Some crazy stuff. You'll see it in the video. But like I said, guys, thanks, thank you guys. Thank, thank every. I'm, I'm, I want to thank all of you guys. You know, I, even if you guys are my my haters, I still love you guys. But you know, I can't thank you guys enough, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. So I've been here for like 20 damn minutes. In the fucking light for the damn expo. Look at that, guys. There's like no chance to even get in. There's uh, the there's cars coming out of the damn street. Ah, uh, pretty freaking insane. Everybody's just like parking at different locations. I'm guessing. Um, you can tell right away this expo. If you guys look behind me, like uh, if you guys can see my rear mirror, that line is going all the way back through the freeway for this damn expo, which is insane. This is this wasn't even like this last year. I guess because there's so many good people coming to the expo. I attract a lot of people from around California, so pretty fucking insane. So I don't know how long we're gonna be here for, but uh, we're, we're here already. So we're at Frankincense already. Um, looking pretty packed as fuck. Took a while to get in here, but this is more of the collectible stuff. So we are not here for the collectible, we're here for the expo. So let's get started. So these are the prices. Do we catch someone slipping, but doubt it. How much you got this at? Hundred bucks. Hundred dollars. Check that out, Donkey Kong controller. Guys, we got Dark Queen, Mega Man, the Jetsons, 180. We got Chairman Fighters, Demon's Crest. Pretty cool stuff. Let's fire two. Oh, hey. No, it's okay. How much is gargoyles? 70. Everything in this box is five dollars. Good. So, that, so, you, so that I trade, I can't. I wouldn't give you like full retail. No, of course, of course. This is this is probably I think retail like twenty. I think right. This is probably sixteen. If that was press traders, and this is probably uh, five. It's probably like twenty, right? So we do. Uh, anyway, so. Common <laughs> game. Guys. You guys have never seen this. I'll just see. I'm not going to this. I don't know how. Huh? I've seen them for 40, 50. So this I give you 40. Some shit riders. We got 90, 14. Uh, Final fight three guys. Uh, 12. And then 12. 
So Darkwing. So 26. For the NES. 38. 90 plus 38. Let's go the Jetsons. 118, right? Awesome game, guys. A lot of rare stuff. 90 plus 38? Crash Boys. Oh, 38. 38. 38. Yeah. We got Cool World right there. What's the place on Splatterhouse? 120. Only because that outer box is super hard to find. No, no, not today. No, came uh, look for some games. How much is Earth now? Nice. I need that box. Everybody needs the box. <laughs> I know. I know how it feels, man. It's crazy. Punk is back for the manual for six from Pat, the NES Punk. Um, actually, it's like a $30 book. Can you believe that, guys, for the damn manual? Pretty insane. So I'm going to take it, pay him really quick. Can you guys one second? What up? Yo, what's up? <laughs> How's it going, buddy? Good, man. Just got here, what? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I haven't been here for a while. Just, I was looking for a damn booth. Yeah, dude. You don't want to be here, though. It's just so goddamn packed. Dude, I know. Oh, I need this bad boy. Did you get anything yet? Uh, so far? Yeah. Uh, it's pretty good stuff, yeah. Fire emblem. Nice. The complete? I think so. That's not mine though. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's pretty scratched. Yours, huh? The fire emblem? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Give me one second. I'm trying to catch it. You guys got Hunting Ground Manual for 10 bucks. Oh no, for my channel. I'm showing them. Awesome. You think all Game Changers were Retro Liberty this morning? Oh, you want, to see, you want to see the text? You yeah. want to see the text that guy? Yes, I want to see it. It ain't on us. Just for proof. 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 I, I was actually, I told Ricky, hey, hit him up early because, you know, the ones he was going to take you guys out, the people there are 6 in the morning, you know? Like, you have to compete. It's competitive, but I didn't see you guys there. Dude, just woke up. Let's do Sunday. I'm so sick right now. Oh, come on. Horrible. There you guys go, man. The Game Chasers. We're ready to go. I don't, I mean, we're ready to go. We're ready to go. We wanted, wanted to see what Kelly had to offer, but we were let down. Damn, are you guys going to that? 75 for Zelda. There are some games I need. How much is Chibi Robo? Uh, 45. 45. 45 for Chibi Robo. Not too shabby. Robo for 40 bucks. Um, actually, super clean. The mint is, it's like brand new, pretty much. No scratches whatsoever. Um, probably, I can probably, you know, this thing could go for like 60, 70, just the way it sits. Mint. So that was really cool. She, he wanted 45, but got it for 40. So I'll send in the So it's coming to an end. Um, it's freaking hot in here. A lot of the vendors do negotiate. Some vendors are very hard to negotiate with, with prices. Uh, some things are overpriced. I got brides in Atlanta, just to go lean in the family. Credit cards and scams, getting the list in the bank. Legacy, we're gonna have a.
<laughs> um, yeah, I don't know, guys. A little kind of sucks a little bit. These guys have some amazing deals. Silver CRV 4K AA 739. What is that? Toyota Corolla 6LR. Yeah. I thought it was Oscar. Hey. Some box only for Mega Man, just box only. A lot of complete stuff, pretty sick. He has a super rare uh, Jack Bros. Have you guys ever seen this for the ritual? But for 300, that American cards inside is a Japanese box, which is pretty cool. Never seen that. Dragon Warrior 2. Let's see if I can work out a deal on the Mega Mans. What do you got these priced at? Boxes. Yeah. Just these three? Yeah. I'm getting Mega Man X2, Mega Man X2, Mega Man 2, 3, yeah, it should be your and email, yeah. Mega Man 5 for 120. Alright, thanks man. Box right. only, so that's cool. Sure, for 100 bucks, we're trying to make sure it's not fake because um, the back looks a little shiny. The back sticker might be a refill. But we'll find out if it's real, legit. The box looks like at least that back label looks kind of close to me. Yeah. Board drill. Legit? Board drill. ACTE, ACTE. Alright. Hey, Bob. I don't know, ball in. The, the board looks good. I have another coach on your hair, actually, mine, that I have. What happened? That's good, Jay. Oh, no, but this is where I have to, I have to party from Armando's Pixel Vault. This, store, this place is amazing. It's actually home-owned. People own this stuff. They have some crazy posters for free. They have this Game Boy that Armando made right here. Awesome, awesome. Virtual Boy. Well displayed. This place is amazing, guys. These awesome Mega Man posters are awesome. Mega Man 2. See, they had posters, but they're all taken. I was able to grab two. Small, but so amazing. Small, but it's just so like nice, like well taken, yeah. What is up guys, from Opposite Game Stash, and welcome to the pickup video. Um, some crazy stuff happened at SoCal Retro Expo, and some amazing deals from CDX. Um, shout out to that guy's booth. Um, awesome, awesome stuff, guys. This probably He's probably had the, some of the best deals compared to the SoCal Retro Expo. Um, he had a lot of complete in box games, loose boxes. Um, my buddy picked up Chubby Cherub, um, which that box is super rare. You just don't ever see it, but... Um, I think he got it for a really good deal. Um, I got my friend Felix the Cat. We all got a Bucky O'Hare, which was all, that was hilarious. We all got a Bucky O'Hare um, that same day at the expo, so that was pretty hilarious. I got mine for 80 bucks, which was an out, outstanding deal. I think everybody was asking 100 to 120. My friend got his for 90. I got mine for 80, so I got the best deal out of the hot lot. My friend got one complete, um, I think close to complete in box for an, a really good deal, so. We'll get that out of the way, but where I got this Bucky O'Hare, I got these three Mega Man games. Um, Mega Man 2, Mega Man 3, and the hardest one of all, Mega Man 5 completed. I mean, not completed in box, but box only. Um, I got it for an outstanding deal, as you guys saw in the video. 
Um, and now I'm missing one, four, and six, which are probably the easiest one to get, except for one. One is the hardest, and Mega Man 5 is the hardest to get out of the, out of the whole lot. So to knock it off right off the bat, um, super happy to get this off really quick. Happy to knock that off the list. And then Mega Man 3 and 2 are pretty easy to get as well. Um, so I guess the hardest one for me to, to get is Mega Man 1 box only. So I'm sure I'll find it at Portland. If not, I'll pick up one or the other until I eventually complete the whole set. Uh, so that was an outstanding deal there. We got Musha for 10 repo. You know, if you guys don't want to go for the valuable one, might as well get the repo, right? I just wanted to play it, so I didn't want to go for the whole set. So, Pat, Pat the NES Punk had some pretty cool stuff. Um, I was shocked that he had this for 6 bucks, because this manual is a $25, $30 manual. Um, even with the condition like this, I'm um, seeing some sold for that price. So, I was happy to get this because I wanted to complete the Conker's Bad for a day. Um, and I was looking for the manual, and sure enough, everybody sold theirs. And some guy had one hidden, thanks to a buddy of mine... Uh, he's like, hey, this guy has some manuals. He might have it there. Sure enough, he did. He had it for 25 bucks. Um, walked away, came back. Like later by the day, he's like, you want to do 15 for you? I said, hell yeah, let's do it. Took it right away. So now I have a complete in-box Conquer's Bad Fur Day with this manual. So happy to knock that off. Um, awesome pickup there. I'm going to tell you guys a crazy story about this Chrono Trigger because I have three now, as you guys can tell. Uh, so I knocked out the manual for Hunting Ground. So now it is complete. I'll show you guys really quick. Awesome. If you guys have the Rule of Rose manual, guys, I really need that. So hit me up if you guys ever find that. Or if you guys have an extra one, please hit me up because I really do need that. And then I got Chibi Robo Mint in the box. Um, this is like, I know for a fact it's never been played or touched. I know because that this has no scratches whatsoever. It is flawless. Um, and everybody had it for $60 at the expo. Um, which was crazy and they were like it wasn't the best condition you guys saw the, all the video I mean you guys saw a quick I think I had like I think I ran I ran by four chibi robos and this one was the cleanest and I got it for 40 bucks So that was happy happy to grab that right away So I um, knocked off that GameCube game the last one I need is fire emblem which my friend is hooking me up So happy to every hopefully he still has it. Um, so he said it was a mint so I'm pretty much done with the GameCube collection because I already got Mega Man X collection. So I got that out of the way. So the crazy story between these Chrono Triggers. Um, this is the one that I picked up at Swap Meet. This is the one that I got from Pixelvolt um, for a great deal. Um, and last but not least, this guy brought a whole box of video games to sell. At, not even at, not at the Expo, guys. This one not, He was not selling this stuff at the Expo. He was selling this stuff to a store in Frankincense. Um, stopped him. Hey, are you selling that stuff? And he said, yeah, but some guys already, he knew he was already coming, so he didn't sell it to me. I said, look, I'm going to take the rest of the stuff that he, he doesn't buy. I'll be happy to buy it from you. Um, he said, okay, cool. Um, so when he came back out, he had the last one, but not least, Chrono Trigger. And I asked him, how much did you want for this? Um, it's missing one map. Uh, I guess the guy checked and told him it's missing one map. Um, and sure enough, he said 100 bucks. Didn't even argue with them. Didn't even try to haggle at them. Because this the car itself goes for 120 Um So I just gave him the 100 bucks, And I said, if you have any more stuff, do it. Give him my number. And that was it. He sold the rest of the stuff for $200, which was outstanding. Um, he had some crazy titles. Panzer Dragoon. Um, Sunset Riders. He had some awesome stuff for $200. I, I told him I would have given you more. But he said he knew the guy. And he already knew it was coming. So kind of sucked a little bit. But... It is what it is, you know. So, anyway, still got this Chrono Trigger. Was happy to buy this for 100 bucks, um, which was outstanding. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And we'll see you guys next time on the next Portland Video Expo or the next Game Hunting video. And thanks for watching.